In Canada, the Athabasca region has developed oil sands into a productive industry, producing over 2 million barrels a day of synthetic crude oil. The time has come to utilize unconventional oil reserves in the U.S. Commercialization of the first oil sands production in the U.S. is an important step. We have assembled a world-class team to leverage proven and established techniques. Rather than reinventing the wheel, smarter uses of existing technology is the answer. Over $70 million of infrastructure is in place at our project site in eastern Utah at Asphalt Ridge, using the same technology developed by the Canadian industry, with one exception, tailings ponds. Our process includes water recycling. After extraction, the sands are returned to the mine clean and environmentally benign. Unlike in the Canadian process, here the water is recycled and tailings ponds are not created. This is a crucial step forward for the industry. Utah is home to half of U.S. known oil sands, estimated at 23 billion barrels of oil. Asphalt Ridge contains 1.1 billion barrels, and this project owns reserves of up to 60 million barrels. Known for superior characteristics and optimal location, it is the low-hanging fruit of the oil sands in the U.S. Oil sands have been mined at Asphalt Ridge since 1920. Starting in the 1950s, extraction of the Asphalt Ridge reserves was explored by companies such as Standard Oil of Ohio, Sun Oil, Shell, Detroit Edison, and the U.S. Department of Energy, but with little success. In 1999, the Canadian Western Research Centre for Advanced Separations Technology, or CANMET, became involved with the project and found that the oil could be extracted with the same technology used in Canada. One year and $5.3 million later, CANMET confirmed the successful completion of an oil separation facility at the Asphalt Ridge project site, utilizing the Clark hot water process. You know, I've been working on this project um, on and off for uh, over 10 years. In 1999, we built a pilot plant at Asphalt Ridge using Canadian hot water extraction technology. So the main difference between what we were doing and the Canadian hot water process is that we were producing dry, clean sand that was being returned to the mine versus tailings ponds. We had to work through process adjustments to make clean sand and to recycle our water in the process. We tested it, we operated it for 18 months. In all aspects, that pilot plant was successful. The arid conditions of Asphalt Ridge forced new techniques in water treatment and recycling. CanMet was favorably impressed with this design element and recommended it to the Canadian government. This modified and proven process pointed in one direction, commercialization. With the rise of oil prices in 2008, a complete renovation and expansion of the facility was in progress. Production is scheduled to begin in April 2012. This process is a replica of the pilot plant that we operated. Uh, then it was at 20 tons per hour of oil sands feed. Now we're designed at 133 tons an hour. Those things that operated in that pilot plant have been replicated in this upscale design. In many circumstances, we have the exact same equipment. This phase of the project, we've designed it to produce 1,200 barrels per day. We have a refinery process located at the facility that's sized to produce 2,500 barrels per day. The next phase will be scaling that 1,200 barrel per day production in the front end of the process and matching that 2,500 barrels a day capacity that we have in the refinery. The technology used is fairly straightforward. There's no technology development in the sense of we have to invent anything here. We're utilizing a known technology that, that's used in several different plants by several different operators and we'll produce a clean bitumen that'll then be fractionated in standard refinery technology. Uh, many of those technologies or that equipment is already existing in our facility and in the past we've operated that equipment. So 
It's straightforward to implement. It's really just an engineering exercise that's very common in the oil and gas business. I think what most uh, people are looking at in this project is does this extraction process work? Yes, the extraction process works. I'm absolutely confident that this plant and this facility will operate, um, that the timing is right now to put it into operation. Our heavy oil is suitable for a wide variety of petrochemical products, such as plastics, motor fuels, roofing materials, and more. However, it is ideal for the performance grade asphalt and aviation fuel markets. Regional markets are hungry for our premium grade asphalt and offer exceptional profit potential. I'm a pavement and materials engineer. I spent about 14 years with the state DOT. There are no other Utah sources that uh, produce asphalt paving materials into the Utah market. Everything else comes from out of state. Utah currently imports all its asphalt for road paving. The mine at Asphalt Ridge has provided raw tar sands for 90 years, which has paved over 1,000 miles of excellent roads, many of which remain in great shape after 40 years, even with no maintenance. Its history has been very good in terms of 35 to 40 years of performance on, a, on roads that have been built, not having to have been uh, rehabbed or maintained. The uh, conventional products lasting 10, 15 years give it a two to three times the lifespan. Our asphalt would offer consumers a reliable, steady supply of affordable, high quality product. It's not susceptible to the oil and gas market fluctuations that we typically see throughout the season. Cities and counties throughout the state have expressed significant uh, interest in wanting to see this product go down, wanting to see it become part of their, their toolbox and their program. Our oil is rich in natural and unique polymers, qualifying it for a variety of valuable petrochemical products. According to a U.S. Air Force study, Asphalt Ridge Oil is an exceptional feedstock for making high-density aviation turbine fuels, which translates into better fuel economy for both military and commercial applications. Unlike a conventional oil field, the production curve remains flat for decades. A controlled rate of production can be achieved year after year. Our current proven reserves can produce 6,500 barrels a day for 20 years. With a unit production cost of approximately $30 a barrel, the team has developed a solid business model, projecting exceptional profit margins. We're a pavement maintenance manufacturing company. We make a sealant for fixing cracks in asphalt pavement and joints in concrete pavements. And we buy asphalt as one of the ingredients for our product. My major strategic concern in this business is not can I sell product, is our product going to be viable in the market? My major concern is can I get a supply of asphalt? Finding a consistent supplier that can provide us with the quantity and the quality of asphalt that we need. As the refineries change crude slates, as they go through turnarounds, we find that the asphalt changes. Um, sometimes we can get the asphalt at a given time of year, not at another time of year, so we're having to change suppliers. We want a supplier that can provide us material year-round that's a consistent quality that will have a big impact in our business as we're growing. Right now we're growing at 30-40% per year, which requires a large increase each year in asphalt supply. I see in the next five years as our major strategic challenge, how do we have the volume and quality of raw material that we need? So for that reason, we look at Asphalt Ridge as a strategic partner that we would like to work with and hope that we can get supply from. Our lab has been testing with samples of asphalt from Asphalt Ridge for a couple of years we've been able to replace the current supply of asphalt that we have with that material. And our hope would be we would be able to replace all of our asphalt supply with the Asphalt Ridge product. Prices range anywhere from the high $500 per ton range, $580, $590 per ton. Um, I've seen pricing or heard of pricing as high as $640, $650. We pay between $580 to $620 per ton. Pricing per barrel would be in the neighborhood of $100 to $110 per barrel. The price of asphalt has steadily increased each year over the past five or ten years. We don't see the days of cheap asphalt coming back. And we are interested in having, again, a consistent supplier that is geared around making asphalt. And that is their primary product. 
as we look at the refineries that are able to produce fuel, they're looking for any way to take their asphalt supply and produce it or turn it into diesel fuel or other fuels and uh, they're not concerned about supplying asphalt. Having a supplier that is in the asphalt market would be a big deal for us and it's something that we're willing, you know, we're interested in, we're anxious about. It's one of the reasons we've been spending time and effort working with Asphalt Ridge because we want this project to succeed. Asphalt Ridge represents a unique opportunity for the independent oil and mining community. This project contains a large, proven reserve of hydrocarbons, a proven, state-of-the-art industrial scale processing facility, and a highly qualified team to make it happen. The production process is environmentally safe, with a slate of end products that are simply best in class. Asphalt Ridge. Smart products. Smart energy. Smart investment.